Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Ole Guacamole. This was sent to me by Scorpion Mask, uh, Masque, and is designed by Guillaume Sandance. Spice up your happy hour. It's your turn. I just said the word guacamole. Quick, say a word connected to mine that doesn't contain any of these visible letters. That's pretty much the rule, but I'll show you how to play anyway. So, in Ole Guacamole, uh, whoever has the fewest cards at the end of the game uh, wins. So, this uh, is the turn or, or turn direction card. Everything else is just shoveled into a deck. So the first player reveals the top card of the deck. Uh, well, let's show a different one for now. Uh, a letter. So, they have 12 seconds, counted silently, to say one word that does not contain the visible letter on the table. If they say a word containing one of them, they fail immediately. So I could say horse, okay? Then the next player draws the next card, and they have to think of a word um, that connects to the previous word, but does not have any of these forbidden letters. So for uh, if, if I said horse, the next person could say hoof, um, and you just keep going. Now, let's say the next person inexplicably goes nay. Uh, well, it has an N and a G in it. So. Uh, in that case, all the other players shout guacamole, and the active player puts all the cards in play in front of them as a punishment. And then you start over. Now, in the rules they say for the connections to be relatively flexible, except all reasonable connections, I think that's fair. Also an interesting rule is no repetition. You may not say a word that has already been used in the game or any preceding one played on the same day. Um, yeah, so th that's... Essentially it, you just keep going until you play through the entire deck, um, and whoever uh, has the fewest cards wins. Now let's go through some of the special cards that can pop up. Uh, this one uh, changes the direction of play. So you flip this, and then the player who just played must say another word. Let's, let me show you some of the other ones. Here's the times two card. That means uh, when you draw that, that you have to say two words instead of one. Then the next player's word has to connect to one of those two words. Uh, another, some other special cards that can pop up. This one, you decide which player has to say a word, uh, with that one. And this one, the player after you has to, uh, say a word and it skips you. And that's it. If the first card revealed is special, um, apply its effect, there's no forbidden letter for the word and they just keep going. Some notes on rules, proper nouns are allowed with the exception of first names. Uh, you may use homophones if a player says sent, C-E-N-T. You can follow with smell for scent, S-C-E-N-T. Uh, so there's that. And that's pretty much it. Just say words that don't have the letters in front of you. That's the game. So I really like these games where you're basically forced to come up with something on the spot before you run out of time. If you're not one of those people, if you're someone who really hates the stress of a ticking timer, then definitely avoid this game. But if you like word games or spelling games, and you like watching people fold under pressure and gloating with a OLE, then this is a lot of fun. I appreciate that in the rules, it says to be flexible with the connections. You definitely don't want to play this with someone who's annoyingly competitive, like, mm -mm -mm, um, I think that's a stretch. They're not exactly connected. Like, who cares? This is a party game. The whole point is to just have fun. Now, the rule of no repetition for the whole day is also clever because, it, I mean, it's a little difficult maybe to enforce the more games you play, but it does prevent people from falling back on the same words over and over again and making the game boring. So that's pretty smart. Anyways, there's not a whole lot else to say. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. You'll know if this game is not a good fit for you, particularly if you don't like those kind of very stressful timer games of thinking of something, or uh, maybe you're just not good at spelling. You know, some people just have trouble with spelling or don't like word games. Uh, I happen to like stress and spelling, so I had a great time with this.